So here we are in Seamus Heaney Home Place, and within Home Place we have the exhibition Man and Boy. And for us to work in a project like this is probably once in a lifetime where we're working directly with the family, directly with the council and the community to try and tell the story of Seamus Heaney, but the boy behind Seamus Heaney that became the man, that became the poet, and then to take him out of Balaki to the global world, you know, the global phenomenon that he became, the icon that is instantly recognisable no matter where you go in the world. So the exhibition consists of seven zones and each of them is strikingly different and that was the whole journey we wanted to create. So you go from the open lobby, the reception area, to quite a dark intimate space which reflects the family story. So we're upstairs into his imagination, his inspiration, the attic space, art gallery and then into creative zone and then a final zone overlooking the landscape. So every zone represents different challenges because they represent different parts of the narrative but the end result I think uh, speaks for itself. For this project, we wanted to use a few different materials that we hadn't used before, but also push what we could do with them. Things like the roots wall and the, uh, the reception desk, we wanted to make sure we were using the best. As always, Marcon came through with the samples and the prototypes. Uh, when you see the wave pattern in the uh, Zoom 4, you'll see what a challenge we actually set them. So responsive, so on top of it, samples came through, project deadlines were met. Challenging site, we had to come on the site early when it's still a building site, which meant they were working in quite dusty environments, but the finished product is excellent, it's to their usual standards, and as always, it was a pleasure to work with them.